Hello folks and welcome to part 3 of my Final Cut Pro 10 basic training. In this video I want to talk about transitions and adding transitions to your movie. As you can see in the timeline we've got three clips here but when we play the clip um, you'll notice that it just suddenly switches to the next clip. There's no actual nice fade or anything like that. So, so we need to go up here and go to the transition panel and in here we can have a look through all the different transitions there is. Um, at the top you've got all then below that you've got all the different categories. Probably the most commonly used ones, your standard ones is what I would call them, is probably cross dissolve and fade to colour. So that's in your dissolve category. But then you've got some other ones like um, lens flare, which is quite a good one. And to view these transitions without adding them to your actual movie, you can just skim through them and get an idea what they look like. This is um, that's lens flare. We've also got um, light noise. So there's some quite good ones, then there's some more novelty ones like the curtain and that. They're not something you'd want to probably use often, but if you want to make your videos a bit more comical or whatever, they might be useful. Some of them are quite fun, even though a bit gimmicky. So let's add a couple of these um, transitions to my uh, movie in the timeline. So we'll go for the standard cross dissolve, and all I'll do is just drop it into the middle in between two of the clips, like so. And now when we play through this, it will do the um, transition. I'll try that again. There you go. It's not showing right well up here in the um, viewer because I'm recording the screen as well as running Final Cut. And the Mac, the MacBook Pro I'm using is not very powerful, so it's struggling to um, show everything in the viewer correctly but but basically it's working it is it is um, adding the transitions there you saw it that time so the transition was added now we can go and try the other one and we can drop that into the next part of the clip and press play there you go the transition again if you want some more control over the actual transition you can actually double click on it and you'll get the uh, advanced precision editor and this will allow you to um, tweak the transition for example how long the transition will go for as you see that can be up to two seconds or can bring it down to less probably something like half a second maybe less is about what we're going for and I can then grab say, the first clip and I can choose where I want the transition to start and and where I want the other clip to st to come in basically, so you've got and you've got like an option to to really precisely where the transition will come into it and where the new clip will fade in. So that's the advanced. That's how you bring the advanced tab up. So just just to uh, repeat that, just double click on the transition at the top of the transition. There, so that again, double click at the top and it brings the advanced precision editor up.